Hi, my name is Mark Johnston and I do STEM education. And today we're going to be doing some more with VEX VR. And so today we start a new three part series on the line detector playground. It's one of a couple of playgrounds that were recently released. And so I'm excited to bring to you uh, the line detector uh, activities. And I'm going to show you how to do some of those activities. So let's get into it. All right, here we are at vr.vex.com and you can see that I already have the playground open. And if I click on playground here, uh, I get to select the different playgrounds and line detector is there at the very bottom. I'm also gonna click on activities here and I'm gonna show you all of the different activities that there are uh, available. And so these are, they say new right now, and they might not, depending upon when you watch this video, but uh, the three videos we're gonna do in this series is color counting algorithms, counting lines, and uh, so this video today is sensing colors. Let's take a look, and if we click on it, it opens up this Google Doc, which is really great for teachers. You can click file and make a copy, and then of course, you can change it to suit your needs for your classroom, which I would highly recommend that you do. So I'm actually gonna right click on level one and copy that text right there, uh, because this is the one that we're gonna do in this video. Uh, I've looked at these and I've considered doing level two and three and I was able to do those successfully, but I think that level one will give us the skills, will give you the skills that you need in order to achieve level two and three. So let's go ahead and go over to the playground and uh, well, let's go to the workspace. All right. Let me show you another feature. If you right click on the working area and you click add note, uh, this is really useful for adding things like, for instance, that information that I just copied. And so I could just have this here uh, to refer to it when I need to. So it says using starting point C, program the VR robot to move until it detects a red line. Then program the VR robot to draw a red line using the red pen until it detects the green line. So the first thing I'll do is click on this little location button right here, and then I'll select location C. And now I know that I need to drive forward until I see a red line, and then some things have to happen. And then I drive forward until I see a green line, and then some things need to happen. And so first thing I'm gonna do is move until it detects a red line. So I'll just go ahead and do that right now. I'll go ahead and put the playground down here and out of the way. Uh, if you close it and then reopen it each time, it will have to load and sometimes slower devices, uh, it's better to just leave it open and drag it out of the way. And so I'm gonna say drive forward and then I wanna put a wait until, that's not one of our control structures. So I'm gonna say wait until, and the information I'm gonna use is from the down eye sensor. And so you can see here front eye, but I wanna use down eye detects red. And so that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna move it till the left part of this little flag, pointy flag part, points in there. And then I'm gonna go back to drivetrain and then select stop driving and put that in there. There we go. All right, so drive forward, uh, wait until down eye detects red and then stop driving. So pretty straightforward so far. Let's go ahead and test it out, see how we do. And sure enough, there it goes. All right, at this point, I know that I wanna draw a line. So I'm gonna go to looks I'm gonna say set, now this is a common mistake that, that kids make, uh, is they'll select set print color. Well, the print color is for when you're printing information into the console right here. Um, and so they'll say, hey, why is the line not changing a different color? Well, because you selected print color, not set 
robot pen color. So we need to set robot pen color to red and then move the robot pen down. Okay, so move to the until it detects red, then program the VR robot to draw a red line using the pen until it detects a green line. So I'm gonna right click here and say duplicate. And then I'm gonna get rid of this. And actually I can get rid of this block because I don't need to stop driving. I'm just gonna drive until I see the red and then pen down and wait until I see green and then stop driving. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm gonna reset and go. Red and I start drawing a line and then it stops at green. Now notice that the sensor, the down eye sensor is forward of the robot. It's forward of the pen. So as soon as it sees that, that, that uh, color and the pen drops, that's why it's drawing the line before it actually gets to the red line. So I could, I could correct that by say, there, there's a couple ways. I think, I don't know the most elegant way, but off the top of my head, I'm thinking I could just correct for the distance that it is. So I could tell it to drive after it sees red to drive for a specified amount, uh, like, I don't know, 50, I think, maybe 50 millimeters. And then I do want it to keep driving. So then I'll just put a drive forward. And what that'll do is that'll just delay what it, what it does down here based on how much it's driven. Um, so that should give me what I need. So I'll go ahead and bring this back up here, reset and try again. Now this wasn't a requirement. I did in fact do what it told me to do where it said to, you know, start a red line at the red line, start drawing a red line and then to stop when I hit green. So I did the challenge as it was written. All right, that's pretty much the line detector. You could see from here, there's a lot of different things you could do. Uh, just with that, I could, uh, now all of a sudden I could have it, you know, I could repeat this and have it change the line color to blue and then drive blue for, you know, drive while it's blue uh, and then stop. A lot of different things that could be done there. And so that's the challenge for the line detector playground, sensing colors level one. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do appreciate you tuning in to my channel and watching my videos. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions or need any help. Also, I would highly encourage you to join our Facebook group for VEX VR. And we also do have a link for a Discord server if you're interested in chatting with me or other people who are uh, figuring out how to use VEX VR for themselves. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.